right guys so i am on the campus of unc charlotte and i am dropping off a bottle of growth serum for one of my clients i'm excited today's a great day my braid out is looking amazing my hair is looking amazing i don't have any makeup on which is so natural and beautiful at the same time like i promise you when i'm wearing makeup when i am wearing my wig i'm telling you i'm so much more self-conscious then when I'm wearing my natural stuff, because I know I look good. Look at my hair. <laughs> Move. So I went ahead and placed my cards along every bulletin board that I went past. You want to make sure that, you know, you're putting it in a nice spot, but you also want to know that they may take them down. So if they do, you know, it is what it is. At least you try. And if they don't, then that's great. How beautiful is this campus? God speaks to you through people, okay? I've been having to remind myself that it's not the likes, it's not the views or anything like that that matters. It's just the content and it's the fact that you're putting it out there because somebody sees it and somebody needs to see it and that's the important part of it, right? So, like I said, I dropped off this growth serum to somebody on UNC's campus and she began to tell me like, people are watching you. I tell people about you all the time we need your videos keep making them you know like you're doing a good thing and it's just like well god because he knows that that's what i needed to hear i know that what i'm doing is a good thing but it's always nice just to hear from people who don't know you like they don't know anything about you other than what they see on instagram okay so my first hair store gonna go see if they can they'll allow me to put my card in there usually hair stores don't mind Am I able to set some cards somewhere? Yeah. Over there? Okay, thank you. Um, One down. Hundreds more to go. Okay, so I'm going back to the same store that I just went to. I decided to put some more cards down. I literally only put, like, maybe 12 cards, and I realized that it's hella people who come in and out of these stores every day. So, like, put a whole stack. So I'm putting this back. I probably should put more, but we're going to just start with this one. Style your hair? Yeah. Yeah, girl, I'll definitely give you a card. My hair needs a right now. Uh-huh. It looks beautiful. I'm actually in the middle of vlogging right now. I'm putting all my cards out. Some stuff like that. So, yeah, I do protein treatments, everything. You have Instagram, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. I'll check you out. Yeah, perfectly. I'll check you out. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. I mean, that don't show y'all how real God is, and I don't know what will y'all. I left the store. You all seen it firsthand. I left the store, and then something told me, like, girl, why did you only put two cars there? I, I didn't put two, I put like 12. But you know. I'm like, why did you put only two cards there? Like, go back. Put a stack of cards, and while I'm walking out, the girl looks at me and says, so you do hair? What did you say that you do? I'm like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a natural hairstylist. Her hair was beautiful, it was natural. And she was like, oh great, I just moved here. I need somebody, I need to make sure my hair is getting taken care of. Look at that, like, y'all see, first hand how it works this is that stuff like that happens in my life all the time like all day never never discount where you are in your life and what you're doing at that moment because i'm telling you everything counts and i'm learning that throughout living life and throughout believing like everything happens for a reason like and y'all just seen firsthand everything happens for a reason I went back to go put some more cards out and met a whole client who's going to give my card to her roommate. So that's two clients based off of me just doing what I'm supposed to be doing as a believer, as a stylist, um, as just a young business owner. So I just ended up seeing a hair store while I was driving. So I'm about to turn around and go to it. And the goal is to get rid of both of these boxes by the end of the day. So I'm going to go big or go home this time. And I'm going to go... Hey, hey, hey. Alright, let me stop. Go big or go home. I'm gonna put all of these cards there. 
Hi. My cards. Am I able to put some cards out? For my business. My, I'm a hairstylist. I'm a hairstylist too. So no. Thank you. The place that I just tried to go and give my car to was a hair salon. So he was like, um, I do hair too. No, basically you can't put your cars in here, which is all good. Listen, I understand that it's fine. Honey, what God wants for me, the clients that God wants for me are going to come my way. So I just said, okay, thank you. And walked out. Because it is what it is. Let me put my seatbelt on. I know a lot of you are probably like, why she not wear no seatbelt? It's really a bad habit, you guys. I, I do always get DMs from people telling me to put my seatbelt on. Here you go. designs of this one and then these are my old ones can you see yep and then this is the back this design is different than this one Whew. sweating man this is work hi i was wondering if you guys have a place to put cards uh -huh. do you oh yeah in no space any oh right here oh yeah. is there you don't have any other spots you put them maybe like a ledge no. probably to the front here okay okay really first off oh! not today you know what i'm working on my road rage but i was just driving and didn't see that the lane was turning into one lane and this fat truck gonna really try to race me so i couldn't get in front of him like you have a whole trailer on the back of your truck sir he definitely blew me but at least i didn't cuss him out look at that that's progress right there because i want to punch him in his so this is my last stop i gotta pick up some stuff in the hair store and um yeah i'm just done have always had kind of like this fear of passing out cards um because i really think it's weird like what do you say like do you go up to them and just say hey do you want a card but pretty much like that's pretty much what you should do um sometimes i just go up to people hey are you looking for a stylist or especially in a hair store if i'm in the mood i'll see people struggling with finding something and i'll just ask them what they need help with um and then that's how you kind of wing your way in because they really don't know what they're doing so if you're a stylist i really really anybody i really encourage you to go where you know you do business at go where whatever your business has to do with and pass out your cards and set cards out and just really, really promote yourself. That's all that you have to do when you are an entrepreneur, um, when you are new into town. You really, really have to push yourself, push your brand, get out there. I hope you all really, really like this video. I hope you can learn something from this and just see how it is to be an entrepreneur, how it is to push your brand, how it is to really, really hustle and grind because that's all it is. At the end of the day, I want everybody to know what this brand is behind me. I want everybody to know what tailored hair stands for what tailored hair is and i feel like i'm doing that go ahead click the subscribe button if you are already subscribed to me on youtube go ahead and follow me on instagram if you're already following me on instagram and on youtube then go ahead and like this video period point blank hope you guys have a nice day see you soon